we're going to find the average rate of change of this function right here, 5x squared minus 8, from these two points on the x-axis, from negative 5 to positive 2. All right, so we have a formula here. It's going to tell us the average rate of change. And it's really just the slope. Okay, it's the y value of x2 and the y value of x sub 1. And that's going to be over the difference in the x values. So we do know the x sub 2 and the x sub 1 that was given to us. When we go to plug this in, x sub 2 minus x sub 1, we could do that now if we want, right? x sub 2 is negative 5. x sub 1 is 2. And we need to find the f of x sub 2. So we are going to have to plug that in minus the f of x sub 1. I don't know those two numbers. I'm going to need to plug it in. All right, let's find the f of x sub 2. Now, x sub 2 is negative 5. They tell us that. So let, we're going to find the f of negative 5. And if I plug it into the f function up here, I see I have 5x squared minus 8. So 5x squared minus 8. And everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put a negative 5. All right, now it's order of operations. We have to do our exponent first. Negative 5 squared, that's negative times negative. So that's going to give me a positive 25. Drop down the 5, drop down the minus 8. 5 times 25 is going to be... 125 minus 8 and let me get my calculator make sure I do this right 125 minus 8 is 117 okay so that is the f of x sub 2 I could put that in right now if I want right here for the f of x sub 2 117 and now the last piece, let's find f of x sub 1. So we want to find the f of x sub 1. x sub 1 is 2. So we're going to find the f of 2. And I go to the f function up at the top. Everywhere where I see an x, I'm going to plug in a 2. So 5x squared minus 8, 5x squared minus 8, x is 2. All right, uh, order of operations, we have to do 2 squared first, and that is 4. So we will have 5 times 4 minus 8. 5 times 4 is 20, 20 minus 8 is 12. All right, that's the last piece we need to find the average rate of change. Here it is, 12. All right, get your calculator. We have 117 minus 12. That's 105 over negative 5 minus 2. Negative 5 minus 2 equals negative 7. And then let's see if this divides evenly. 105 divided by negative 7, and it does, negative 15. So the average rate of change between these two points is negative 15, and that would be a serious downslope, something steeper than that. Okay, but this is it. This is the average rate of change between those two points.